everybody looking at required guitar etude number one the first 12 bars um, is a 12 bar blues and the specific thing is to comp freddie green which to me usually means skipping that fifth string and doing a handful of three note voicings um, you'll notice some of the voicings like e flat won't have a root in which case e flat seven E diminished will be the same shape. A lot of times we ignore the extensions on these chords, specifically in letter A, if you were to play in Freddie Green style. Um, for example, bar number 15 has C7 flat 9, Freddie Green style. I think you just treat that as C7, F minor, B flat 7 flat 9, same thing. Um, and again, how I played it, doesn't have to be this way, but how I played it, E flat 7 and E diminished end up being the same voicing. Uh, looking at letter B, I like to keep this all around my B flat, kind of blues scale shape, right? Everything sort of fits in. got the whole range that you need for that entire passage. Um, just watch out for some of those articulation markings and there is a decrescendo there in the second to last bar which I kind of ignored I guess in my performance looking back. Uh, letter C, Latin feel. I switched to fingers um, 
not a huge deal, I don't think. But I think the big thing is to start thinking of this more of straight time. On those eighth notes. Um, but uh, really paying attention also to sharp 11 to normal major, those kind of things. I think if they're in there specifically, you'll want to play them. Looking at measure 45, uh, we have a section that just says comp, and I'm assuming that it's still in a Latin feel, which to me, I resort to the bossa nova, which is pretty much the same sort of um, patterns as you're seeing at letter C, you know, I kind of... I put a flat 9 on that E flat 7, probably don't need to do that. And then you have this little run straight up, it ends up being an A flat Dorian scale. Um, you've got the solo to improvise, G minor C, a set of two fives, F minor B flat. And now I'm looking at Measure 61, I think in, um, an important thing to notice is uh, when I see that first note of B-flat, that's where my instinct goes. That's where I'm, I've am i learned to read that note in this octave. But since guitar transposes sounds an octave lower, um, sometimes you might look at that section and take it up an octave. So I think that could be throughout a theme that, you know, sometimes you have to keep that in mind or an arranger will know that and give you the correct octave. Sometimes you might be asked to play that up an octave. And that section, 61, specifically seems like it could be taken up an octave. In that same section, measure 63, the first note of the triplet on beat 2, I played as a C natural. I kind of think it should be a C flat just because the chord is A flat minor 7. That's what would make sense to me. I played a C natural just because that's what's written. Um, but it seems to come out natural as the C flat. So I'll just keep that in mind. Um, and then at the end of that section, measure 68, you just have a rhythmic dotted half note with a fermata to me that says play that G major 7 chord I think. Uh, letter E, your tempo changes, it's rock so you're going to want to think the straight eighth notes again. I kind of thinking this shape um, kind of an extended sort of pentatonic blues box I just find that easier for me personally to get those F sharps in there and those C sharps. Then, but you can definitely do what works best for you. So thanks for uh, listening and I hope that can help you. Good luck.